What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 video. I'm here with Main. Say hi. What's going on everybody? It's the main event here, back on Moxie's channel. I feel like it's been a little while. Yeah, I mean, because we're at tournaments and stuff, because we compete now. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm at 80 championship points. That's a little under a third. Uh, but I, what I wanted to talk about today with Main here, I just called him up and said, Main, get on here. I'm too tired to record by myself. I need someone to keep me awake. Uh, we're going to talk about these five Pokemon and why they actually are seeing some usage. Quaqua Vol is kind of a hot take. I'm going to say that right now, but why they're seeing some usage uh, in beating the Ruin Pokemon. So if you guys enjoy this name point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications. And also make sure you check out main event. This dude growing like crazy. Make sure you keep feeding that sub count and feed my sub count because we're almost at 60K. Uh, but yeah, uh, you want to... Well, I guess, you know, common question of the day. Uh, what are you using to beat the Ruins? But, uh, Main, you want to introduce Gyarados? So, yeah, we're going over Gyarados first. I know you guys have probably seen a lot of Gyarados being upticked, um, primarily because it's a flying Intimidator, so it gives you, like, automatic positive matchups into Team Glue, for example. Uh, you Intimidate it, so its damage output is mitigated, and it can't be Fissured, because that's, like, the big thing. Yeah, like, Fissure is, uh, like, super annoying. Uh, and, it like, obviously, it's, like, the Fissure plus Stomping Tantrum combo that's seeing a lot of usage right now. Uh, but Gyarados has, like, the positive of also intimidating it. So, like, Rock Tomb or Throat Chop or Rock Slide also, like, kind of bounce off of it. Yep, and it hits it back for super effective. Like, uh, ultimately, if you ever get your... If you can ever help it, if you get your Gyarados into a 1v1 versus Tinglu, you should always win the matchup. Yeah. Like, always. And it has, like, a free move slot, too. Like, this last move is the only move that we really see change. Uh, for the most part, Gyarados are either, like, Safety Goggles or Lumberry... Uh, and occasionally you'll see something different. Like, I don't know. One time I saw like a clear amulet Gyarados because their last move was actually Dragon a, Dance. Yeah, it was Dragon Dance. But yeah, I, I like I like uh, goggles on the taunt T wave sets because you don't want to get redirected or put to sleep. Yeah. Um, but Lum, Lum and clear amulet is better for the Dragon Dance sets. So if you're mixing them, I, and if you're using Dragon Dance, I kind of like Terra Flying because then it gives you a positive matchup into all of the uh, ruins. Yeah. And, and the third thing that I've also seen is occasionally they'll run like. Uh, all right, so like Gyarados obviously is a Pokemon like it has really high physical attack and like really low special attack. But occasionally, I've actually seen Icy Wind uh, because yeah. it's not a move meant to deal damage. It's a move meant to slow things down. So like that actually is like an actual move that you can see on this thing run from time to time. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it goes positive into Ting Lu. It goes positive into uh, Chi Yu especially because this thing's got like a really decent special defense stat. You don't have to run like max attack. You can run however much attack you need uh, and just, I don't know. So like, let's say you want to run like Adamant, right? You just go ahead and wait till you like hit the bump right about... Where, where's the bump? I'm going to say, does it not have one? <laughs> there, it, it's, it's in here somewhere. There it is. There's the bump, 186, right? And then you just make sure that you outspeed um, Dragapult after a Thunder Wave, so you hit 107, and then you can really just dump the rest into, like, your special defense and, like, physical defense, wherever you need it, uh, to, like, live hits. It's a really fat Pokemon when you invest it, right? And it has, like, these support tools while also being able to just deal massive damage to things with, you know, 125 base attack waterfall. Like, it's it's strong, and you can flinch yeah, things. Yeah. Like, Terra Flinch is disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's actually really strong. Uh, small thing, is, isn't it? Isn't Dragapult 214 base or is it 213? Uh, it hits 213, so 107 is the number. Okay, okay, so does it sound? I just want to make sure. Yeah, you're, um, you're thinking like you want to hit 214. That, that's what you're okay. thinking of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so like it's 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 great for that stuff. Uh, Gyarados is one of those Pokemon where its bulk on paper does not do it justice in game. Uh, it, it seems to take more hits than you would expect with Intimidate and the 100 special defense stat. The only time it takes a lot more damage than you than you would like is when it gets hit by like really super effective stuff. But neutral hits don't ever take it out the game, which is actually a really good thing right now. Until like especially like Chan Pao, which doesn't really hit Gyarados for super effective. And you it's for neutral or any intimidated it, so it doesn't do a lot of damage. And intimidate is a bigger drop than uh, what is it, Sword of Ruin. So yeah. you always go positive into that ability for sure. Yeah, and while you can't actually intimidate the inner focus Dragonite that you tend to see next to it, or even the clear. Uh, the clear body Dragapult, being able to Thunder Wave either one of those is just super important for uh, outspeeding things with like a partner Flutter main, which is like really good next to Gyarados. Uh, other things that are good next to Gyarados, Amoongus to like keep it alive for a really long time and redirect moves away from it. And 
honestly, Ting Lu, as much as Gyarados is a counter to Ting Lu, it's also like its best friend because a it can partner, switch yeah. in on electric moves. It gives it like a free assault vest. It's it's so cool. Yeah, yeah. and getting him on the field at the same time is probably very annoying for most opposing players. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Gyarados, very, very simple Pokemon. Actually, I, Gyarados is probably the most complex of these, if I'm being honest. <laughs> exactly. think about it. The rest of these are actually like dead simple. All right, Great Tusk. We already know what Pope Tusk the, the ninth does, right? Yeah, we, we know what it does. It goes forward and it clicks buttons and it does damage. Yeah, so I, I wonder if you can figure out why this thing is so good into the ruined Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Close combat. Right and, there. And, the best, and the best part is that Right now, at least currently, it's very commonplace for the dark type ruins to terra poison to avoid the fairy and the mm -hmm. fighting damage. Mm -hmm. But Great Tusk has an advantage into that as well, called Headlong Rush, which also sends them to uh, to Valhalla. Yeah, the only set that like can't adjust on that matchup is technically Choice Scarf. But even then, if you're playing in like open team sheet. You can make a read. For the most part, if your opponent has like a, a Wo Chen that has the opportunity to Terra Poison, they're gonna do it. Like, I, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. If you're not yeah. clicking Headlong Rush into a possible Terra Poison uh, Ruin Pokemon, you're probably throwing. I think that you, it, you are this is one of sure. the safest reads you can make because every Ruin person, er, every Ruin runner, user, is like, I have to Terra here because if I don't, they they just take the they're piece. Going to blow, yeah. So, so you just counter thing. read that, you know? <laughs> like, here's the thing, right? Why Headline Rush is always optimal into those things, right? Because let's say they don't Terra into three out of, no, actually into two out of four, it's still neutral. Um, Into it's only one. Wo Chen. It's, well, it, it's a Wo Chen, Headline Rush yeah. is, uh, is uh, resistant. Yeah, so I mean, like, it's, a, it's only Wo Chen where it's a risk. Yeah, it's only watching where it's actual risk. The other ones you hit it for neutral is super effective. Um, also, you threatened it with Headlong Rush, and now they won't Terra. So now your partner Pokemon can probably do damage into its original typing. So now they're in like a tough spot, and they have to call some weird 50-50, but it's like a 75-25 realistically. Yeah, and and even then, like Tailwind's still super popular. Like we said, uh, Assault, not Assault Vest, uh, but Thunder Wave Gyarados is really popular. So you could even opt for like the Life Orb set with like Ice Spinner and not Ice Fang. Uh, ice spinner and like protect yeah. and that's still good you could even go adamant at that point um because it's just like a really reliable pokemon like you can build great tusk to do whatever it is so positive into the ruins that i think if we take a look what's great tusk's usage right now it's way lower than it really should be it's still at 13 percent, right what was it in yeah. in regulation b here uh i don't think it's archived they didn't archive so it? what are they doing oh, so here, uh two. Great Tusk is going to be making a, a resurgence. I would advise everyone who thinks it's dead to think again. It is coming back. I can confirm that to you all. Yeah. Um, right now, people were afraid of it at the start because one, there's a lot of new toy syndrome with the ruins. Um, mm -hmm. So people kind of build around other stuff and people are kind of afraid of Chi Yu for the most part. But Great Tusk can actually play around Chi Yu pretty well. People are learning. So it's not as scary as uh as many people were thinking right and even like without investment i'm pretty sure because you resist uh the this the the stabs on the the stabs on the dark side it doesn't even take it out and then like the fire stabs are a little bit unreliable into you because it has overheat and heat wave so it, it's not impossible to play right and then you outspeed it with like choice scarf and if you go first you just send it you just destroy it with any move that you click except close combat because they're probably gonna tear goes yeah but like <laughs> and i mean like in, in into like chi Yu and fluttermane too choice scarf is still super super like reliable with like an adamant nature because in open team sheet you can see what their terra options are if they're scarf or not in closed team sheet like you know best of one stuff maybe it's safer to like run focus sash but for the most part, yeah, Choice Scarf's fine. If you scout to see if they're like Scarf earlier in the game, you just can spam your moves into them, you know? Yeah, and if you really want to, like, if you get Choice Scarf Earthquake, you get so much damage into both. Even if Great Tusk goes down, you did it. It, it kind of did its job. It yeah. brought them both into range of whatever you have in the back. Yeah. So Great Tusk, probably, I, I would say Great Tusk, if we could rank them, it's like here, uh, Palafin is like here, and Quaquaval is going to be like, all Dead the way at the it. bottom because it's kind of a hot take but i still think it's very good but yeah uh so palafin hero next it's it's palafin yeah so palafin is um awesome for a couple of reasons so like the the the, the, the biggest palafin weakness right is what is that it takes a turn at least one turn to set up but into into two of the ruined pokemon uh tingu and wochan for example they're very passive right so you actually get a bit of an opportunity 
to do that, right? You don't really lose anything by switching your path and out on those turns, especially against Wu Chen, which is like lead cheating, and lead cheat gets like removed by switching. So you get a lot of a positive, you get a lot of a positive matchup there. Yeah, and the only thing you really fear is like, uh, well, leech seed, yeah, but also like foul play from Wu Chen does hurt kind of bad because it's stab and you have base 160 attack. But going into every other ruin, Chen Pao isn't like that bulky, especially on the physical side. It's 80 80, right? Uh, or I guess on the special sides, it's lower one, but 80 80 is still like really low, uh, for physical bulk. So it doesn't like taking, you know, Mystic Water, Terra Water jet punches. It doesn't enjoy yeah. that. Chi Yu obviously does. drops, and like the partners that you see with these ruins don't like it either. Dragonite, if it Terra normals, yeah, it can extreme speed you, but if you know you're about to get extreme speeded and you live, just wave crash it, you know? Yeah, um, just wave crash it, because now wave it doesn't crash it. water anymore. Yeah, uh, and yeah, it, it's just like a really like solid Pokemon into basically everything in the format. Dondozo still exists. The setup Pokemon still exists. So Haze is just like a really useful tool. Uh, Palafin stocks, definitely not going down. As a matter of fact, it won the last regional so it won the last event with the first the first event with all the ruins on it yeah and if you're crazy you know go ahead just close combat i don't think it needs fighting coverage though i think you just run your two water moves i think i think that's fine um close combat is nice to have in maybe a closed team she set because they probably think that they're safe mm -hmm. um but in an open team she set jet punch and wave crash are fine it hits them all for neutral except for wo Qian. uh but even then again being being basically a net positive into the other three uh, makes up for losing or not losing but i guess going kind of neutral against the one that's the least used anyway yeah uh speaking of wo chen jump scare uh <laughs> scissor <laughs> just annihilates wo chen uh it granted it doesn't terra fire or terra poison uh because scissor has access to technician pounce <laughs> Which yeah, is which really is like cool move. nuts, which is actually nuts. Um, <laughs> that should be yeah. insane. Uh, so uh, like a lot of scissor will just hit like 107 speed, like adamant. They'll hit like a, an attack bump. I think for scissor it is 236. Yeah. And then you just like, you can go with like, I don't know, something like this. Actually you want more special defense, the physical defense. So yeah. Yeah. And you would just, I, I, I'm a big fan of clear amulet right now because of how common Arcanine is. So like clear amulet plus um, Terra Fire like just terrifier. makes it so you never yeah. lose to Arcanine. And you just put yep. bullet punch on it um bullet punch and you definitely want tailwind right now in this economy i think tailwind's like super super good since not a lot of things can actually deal with scissor on lead uh especially if you tear a fire right and it pairs mm -hmm. super well with partner um flutter main as well but scissor obviously having access to a base uh what is it uh that's 50 times 1.5 that is a 75 base power bug move uh, that lowers everything's speed and your, you know, base 130 attack, it's going to hit like a truck. You're one-shotting Chen Pao with either Bullet Punch or... Uh, or Pounce. Or Pounce. You're one-shotting Chi Yu with, if you decide to run Close Combat Terrifier, that's like an option. But also, just like, I think Pounce into a second Pounce KOs Chi Yu because you outspeed yeah, it. Yeah, because yeah, they're neutral anyway. Yeah, and you're going to outspeed it, yeah. So you obviously have to Terrifier for that. Terra Water is also not bad, but I think Terra Fire is optimal unless you want I, I think Terra Fire is better. Yeah, because yeah, you're scared of like Palafin and Great Tusk and Gyarados, but like it's still good. Yeah, because that it's it's this isn't a, a positive into Gyarados, Palafin, Great Tusk video, it's a positive into the ruins. So fire yeah, yeah, is yeah, definitely yeah. the best. Uh I think the best thing about Scizor right now is that it forces a reaction from your opponent every time, right? Because they have to do something when they see it. Yeah. They have to switch, they have to terra. They have to protect. They have to do something. They can't just look at it and not do anything, especially because yeah. they know it might have Swords Dance and it always has Bullet Punch. Um, so, and Bullet Punch into a couple of ruins, like I said, like we mentioned, does a lot and they know it has U turn or pounce. So, they can't take that just raw. They have to protect, they have to switch, or they have to tear it. And once that happens, you pop that early. Now you're in such like a driving position because now they don't have that later and you do. So, that's like Scissor's biggest strength right now, at least to me. Yeah, a good rule for this format is if you force your opponent to react with a Terra and you know they're going to do it and you hard call it out, uh, it's, uh, in a lot of games you kind of just win right there. Like, if, if they reactively Terra to, like, take a hit and you don't expect it, yeah, that's, like, bad for you. But, like, let's say that you go, oh, yeah, the Chi Yu is going to go for, like, Terra Ghost here. And instead of going for Pounce, you just, like, bullet punch it and still get the one shot at plus two. Uh, then then yeah, like that's like the sort of thing you have to like consider so like scissor just exudes so much pressure on its own while also activating partner Pokemon like Fluttermane that it is 
just an insanely strong Pokemon that I almost lost to in my uh, Fort Wayne run, but I, I was able to deal with it. This specific set actually almost annihilated me. They had this. That yeah, close combat is, is really strong, uh, yeah. especially if you, like if you if a, if like you're running it next to a HAL user and get the boost or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like speaking of uh, attack boosting Terra Fire types, <laughs> this is my hot take for the video, and I stand by it. I've been running this. I'm gonna make a shutdown live with this tomorrow, I think. Um, but this like specific sort of way to run Howard the Duck uh, is just super <laughs> super fun. So. The reason I think Quaquaval, uh, sorry, I'd like to start it on my word. Quaquaval is like really good is because close combat plus Aqua Step will annihilate a ton of things in the format. You like always run Protect. And I think that just like Scissor, you could run Clear Amulet, but you could also run like Focus Sash if you really need to. I think Clear Amulet's a little bit better, but pairing it with like a Chen Pao makes it so like there's no ruin that eats this hit. It is like a scary Pokemon to switch in on. It's got base 120 attack, Aqua Steps 80 base power, and raises your speed by one every time you use it. With this speed investment, you outspeed Dragapult after a single Aqua Step. And keep in mind, like, things don't want to eat this hit. I, I think that with Chen Pao on the field, there were situations where I was dealing like upwards of 90% to Flutter Mains with my Aqua Step while Terra Fire. Yeah, so um, what I, what I, well, Flood, Fire is probably the optimal defensive one. Uh, uh, another option, if you're going to be doing like clear amulet, uh, chin pal, you can probably because it doesn't it get uh, aqua jet as well. It does get aqua jet, yeah. So like terra water aqua jet probably like blows up stuff as well. With the uh, chin pal in the field at least because it's like uh, a little bit weaker than like jet punch, but jet punch still blows stuff up too. Uh, and it's good priority. And like I said, with chin pal, you kind of get that extra boost, so it's an option. But I, I would agree with Moxie that Terrifier is probably better just because it's so frail and you're not running focus at, so you need that better defensive typing. Yeah, and you want to know what the real tech is with this thing that I found out recently? What you got? I'm going to spoil this right now. I was try I was going to run this in the GC, but I decided not to. Uh, let me pull up the team that I was messing around with. Here, hit the qua. So, uh, <laughs> right here, I got my my clear amulet, Himothy, right? Uh, <laughs> he's got Terrifier, clear amulet. He's Moxie. He's Protect, he Close Combat, pass. Aqua Step. <laughs> baton pass remember how we said that scissor forces a reaction yeah <laughs> when this thing's at plus one plus one it forces a reaction too and you're already running chen pao next to it right the opponent's going to want to protect and deal with this thing in one way or another in that situation if you're already low cut your losses get out of there and switch in the dragonite with that baton pass yeah I, 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 that definitely does work it might even be worth it to be like multi-scale knight in that situation too since you're like getting the yeah, switch in instead of like inner focus and you can also power up like arcanine i've even powered up in like an earlier version of the team like a like a ting lu um and one version had an annihilate on it i ran like double fighting types it, it's it's a crazy pokemon i think this yeah, I didn't is know that the was yeah it's insane dude it's one of the most underexplored things in the format also if For you sure. want to run encore <laughs> that's another <laughs> cool thing but yeah, that, it, it's a cool bond. Also Wave Crash, but I think like, I think this is like the set that you want to run with it. It's so cool, dude. Uh, but yeah, that's that's this, my hot take. I just want to like share it with this, the world. This disclaimer to the viewers, there is a bit of a skill cap with using Qu Qu Quavel, Um Yeah, with, you like, don't want to use, <laughs> look, if you want to use, Qu if you want to use Quaquaval, you better be Himothy, dude. You better be <laughs> like, Himothy. <laughs> with like un understanding how like speeds work and like positioning is kind of be really important for something like Quavel because it does not have that like bulky, defensive typing like that for real yeah, yeah. Um, and, and it takes a little bit of time to pick up steam offensively as well with moxie so like <laughs> just keep that in mind please before you just say boosted told me to play this pokemon and i lost yeah no yeah, i better not get any complaints because yeah you took my <laughs> advice look my, my channel is a cautionary tale i'm i'm a i'm a do as i say not as i do kind of guy and while i did say use this i did do it too so you know figure it out but yeah uh thanks for watching you know if you enjoyed Leave a like, subscribe, make sure you check out Main. It's going to be linked down below. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace.